Hi, my name is Deantha Crockett, and I was voluntold to be our group spokesperson. Um, our key takeaways, which I think we really read as directives for closing the fiscal gap, was one, we've got to limit the general fund spending to sustainable levels. Uh, we've got to use our state budget reserves to uh, transition us from where we're at currently to where we're going. Um, the policies we make, whether they're related to taxes or incentives for businesses, um, must encourage investment and expand our economy. And it's time for individual Alaskans to be part of the solution. So question two, from a revenue perspective, we think the first step um, after making the cuts is to use the permanent fund dividend earnings to help provide for essential state services. Question number three about engaging as many Alaskans as possible, and we suggest making it a democratic exercise. When all Alaskans are part of the conversation, understanding will come. Uh, we think individuals have to accept responsibility both financially and being engaged in Alaska's budget discussions. Um, when we've got a vested interest, when we're all paying into this on an individual level, we'll be more engaged in what the government spends money on. Um, we had a discussion about how it says pretty explicitly in our constitution that Alaskans have a corresponding obligation to each other and the state. So um, encourage that theme in engaging Alaskans. And finally, our overall highlights from the event um, is that this is a really diverse group. And some of us uh, disagreed pretty strongly with each other. I know that happened in every group I was with. But ultimately, we came to a consensus on what's the best plan forward for Alaska's future. And we need to back up Governor Walker and Lieutenant Governor Malott and our legislators and because they're going to have to deliver some really unpopular actions. No matter what it is, it's going to be very politically unpopular. And we need to come together and say we have this very diverse group in Fairbanks, and we ultimately offer these suggestions and back the governor and, and his team up when delivering these. So thank you very much.